Time for our spotlight, Property Guru, the online real estate marketplace just began trading today after completing a SPAC merger. Joining us now to explain the Chief Financial Officer, Joe Dish. Thank you so much for being with us. As we take a look, I mean, we see the growth in people searching and looking. I have all the stats about the millions of postings. I mean, this is based in mostly Asia, but tell me a little bit about the day and going public and we can get into some of the details too. Wonderful. And Nicole, thank you very much for, for having us on. Uh, the day has been truly uh, remarkable. Uh, we've, um, yeah, it's a fantastic show here and we've uh, really enjoyed uh, being here with our team, the leadership teams here, some of the directors and founders. And it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a, a really fantastic day so far. Without a doubt, I see you there on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. That's where you have your listing. So 3.3 monthly real estate listings, uh, more than 37 million property searchers, seekers, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam. This is um, what's going on here, and you see potential growth. Uh, for this year, you reaffirmed the backing for 2022. In your latest report, you um, beat the estimates. You had recent record growth as well. So tell me a little bit about the revenue growth going forward and what you see. Sure. Uh, the center of our business is, uh, is a marketplace, um, and that's been uh, around for sort of for 15 years now. Uh, we operate that in our sort of core markets, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam. Uh, and that business has been growing really well, uh, even, through the, even through the COVID period. And we're looking for a really sort of strong organic growth uh, in the years ahead as we emerge from COVID. We have some really fantastic tailwinds uh, in our markets. Uh, we have urbanization. We have um, also big increases in GDP growth. And this has been really been driving some changes in multi-generational living. So uh, in our markets, a lot of people have many generations living in one place. And as with prosperity, so that these units are uh, expanding, people are taking their own properties, and it's really driving a lot of uh, demand uh, for property. And they're all coming to uh, Property Guru and our other brands in order to look and uh, select the property for them. Going forward, we're, um, we're growing our business name. and changing. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, sorry. Going, uh, so going forward. forward, we're. Uh, yeah, going forward, we're changing our business as well. We're growing into data and, uh, and fintech, assisting people uh, with their mortgages. And then we're also looking at other areas, uh, Everbear markets, looking at things like home services and also providing uh, data and uh, operating system solutions for our developers. That's huge. You're going to be a one-stop shop. Um, to find the property, then mortgage the property, and then provide home services when the person gets into the property. Um, are you going to be able to handle that? That's a lot of uh, from, you know, <laughs> from beginning to end. Yeah, absolutely. I think where we've been really successful in the past is we've shown real focus. Um, so, you know, we've really focused on our marketplace. Uh, you know, we have uh, all of the listings, uh, we have all of the agents, and we have all of the consumers uh, who are coming there to, to look for property. Um, one of the reasons for us listing the business um, and bringing in additional financing is to be able to uh, look after, go after those, uh, those new areas of business. Uh, so there's a lot of sort of M&A opportunities in our space, and we'll, we're certainly looking out right. for great companies to bring into the fold. Tell us a little bit about your relationships with Peter Thiel and Richard Lee. Yeah, look, we, um, we were not originally intending to do a, a SPAC listing, and it was uh, about a year or so ago uh, we met with the Bridgetown guys, um, and uh, there was just immediate, really sort of fantastic chemistry. Um, you know, I think on the Teal side, they've got you know really interesting exposure in the knowledge in the U.S. Um, access to uh, to investors, and uh, on the Richard Lee side, the Pacific Century, also great experience of operating uh, in Asia, uh, some really successful companies, and accesses to uh, to a lot of investors in the space. So, you know, that was just that gelled really well, and we felt really confident they'll be a, a great partner uh, for us going forward. Uh, so that was the start, and then obviously we've been through a very long, year-long process uh, to get through all the the ad around the SEC listing, all uh, ending up in, the, you know, in today and the, and the listing. So it certainly seems like you have lots of tailwinds and lots of big expectations. Anything to get in your way of, of getting this done the way you want to, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, you tell me, competition or anything else? 
Yeah, on the competition side, you know, we've, we've been operating for 15 years. We've seen a number of people sort of come and leave the market. You know, I think what's really strong for us is our, uh, is our engagement market share. So in some of, you know, all of our markets, we have very strong positions. Uh, in Singapore, 84% uh, of, uh, of the sort of the, uh, the, the traffic effectively out there or the people looking for property uh, come to our site. So, you know, it's a really, really uh, strong position. You know, there's always um, macroeconomic challenges, uh, et cetera, that are out there. But uh, on balance, you know, we have so many positive tailwinds, which I alluded to before, that we're very confident of the strength of the property sector uh, and our capacity in the future to really service our customers and our consumers. Can you tell me quickly where you got the name Property Guru? Uh, I mean, where did that come from? Such a catchy name, quickly. That's a, it's a great that's a great question. It was um, our founders, Yanni and Steve. So they came to Singapore about 17 or so years ago and were looking around for uh, uh, for somewhere to live and there wasn't a, a site like Property Guru. Um, I don't actually know how they actually came up with the term, but we've certainly tried to live up to it, try to you know provide all the information, cool. all of the insights and content. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. And it's nice to speak with you today. Congratulations. I'm sure we'll be having lots of conversations going forward. Congratulations to you and the team. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Joe Dish, CFO of Property Guru. They're live at the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks.